Welcome to the new episode of How to Electronics. In this episode, you will learn how to make and design IoT-based patient health monitoring system using ESP32 web server. So simply what we will do is we will interface some of the sensors like pulse oximeter, humidity sensor and temperature sensor with ESP32. We will use our web browser like mobile phone or the web browser of the computer where we will display the parameters like blood oxygen, heart rate, body temperature, room temperature and room humidity. We will learn the interfacing process, we will learn about the coding and we will learn how the parameters can be monitored remotely online through the web server. So let's start with the video. The official sponsor of this video is NextPCB. NextPCB is one of the highly experienced PCB manufacturer company in China. They offer high quality PCB at very low price and they manufacture all different type of PCB including whole layer PCB and two layer PCB. Currently they are having an offer. So daily you can visit to their website and collect the points. So by collecting the points you can get a huge discount on the orders like I have collected 6.17 points so 2 points is equivalent to 1 dollar so more the points the more will be the pcb visit their website fill all these details select the country and then upload the garbage file and place the order so once placed the order is done you will get the pcb within 24 hours and the pcb quality is very excellent as you can see here Now let us begin with the circuit diagram first. All these three sensors need to be interfaced with ESP32. So connect output pin of DS18B22, GPIO5, ESP32, DST11 output pin to GPIO18 and I2C pin of pulse oximeter to I2C pin of ESP32. Connects it interrupt pin to GPIO19. All this module works at 3.3 volt power supply. So supply 3.3 from ESP32 and all the modules ground need to be connected to the ground. Connect a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor to the DS18V20 output pin via 3.3 volt PCC. Now, if you want to learn about the individual sensor, I have already made a dedicated video for all of this. So, max 30100 videos are here, two videos are there. Similarly, the video for DS18V20 is also there in my YouTube channel. And similarly, if you want to learn more about the DST11 humidity temperature sensor, you can see this video. Okay, now this is the interfacing on breadboard as I show you in the circuit diagram. So, this is DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor to measure the body temperature. This is ESP32 module and we have max 30100 for measuring blood oxygen and heart rate, DST11 for measuring room temperature and humidity. All this can be interfaced on breadboard, but for interfacing in breadboard is a complicated task. So I have made a dedicated PCB for this using an online PCB editing tool that is EGEDA. So here is the PCB, it's very small in size. You can simply see the front view and back view here. A very small size, compact size, portable and very easy to use. So download the Gerber file from the link in the description below. So let's see the program now. Oh, so we have Wi-Fi dot H and web server dot H. So these are for generating the web server. So we have wire for I2C communication. This is the for pulse oximeter, one wire and the last for DS18B20 and DST dot H for DST11 humidity and temperature sensor. DST11 output pin is connected to GPIO18, DS18B22 GPIO5. So we have defined a parameter of millisecond that is 1000 for pulse oximeter. We have defined five variables temperature, humidity, BPM, SpO2 and body temperature. Change the SSID and password from here. So from here we have initialized all the sensor. So we have assigned a port of 80 for web server. From here it will start connecting to the network and when connected it will display the IP. So this will check the pulse oximeter is connected or not. So 7, 6 milliampere current is for better penetration of pulse oximeter. Under the loop section we are just reading the temperature okay like temperature, humidity, BPM, SpO2 and body temperature. These all are displayed on 
serial monitor so once the displaying on serial monitor is done the wireless server will connect to the server the esp32 is connect to the local web server using the ip and it will send the html data like temperature humidity bpm spo2 and body temperature as shown here okay so this is the html text so this line is for temperature as you can see temperature parameter is defined this one is for humidity we have also defined humidity and percentage tag similarly this one is for bpm that is the heart rate and this line is for the blood oxygen that is spo2 and similarly this lines are for body temperature that is from ds18 to b20 now what you do is just go to the tools select the right board select the right board as well okay once the board selection is done you can simply upload to the controller so after uploading just press the reset button of esp32 so you can see it is displaying the all the parameters like room temperature humidity bpm spo2 and body temperature so place your hand or finger tip on the top of a pulse oximeter so you can see the bpm and sp2o2 value is changing so all the parameters can be observed on serial monitor now what i want is i want to check this value on web server so how would i do that so for doing that you need the ip address of the node mcu for local web server okay so how will you get that so simply again press the reset button of esp32 after pressing the reset button you will get an ip address okay 192.168.43.45 or something like that okay copy this ip address open a web browser and simply paste it over here so once pasting is done it will request the data from esp32 and look at the beautiful widget is displayed over here so keep refreshing once the refreshing is done the parameters will change so you can monitor the room temperature room humidity heart rate blood oxygen body temperature now i want to monitor it on my smartphone so simply again enter the same ip address so you can see the same parameters are again displayed on mobile phone as well so this was all about the best video related to iot best patient monitoring system so thank you for watching please subscribe my channel share this video and drop a like if you like this video